explain the, the logic, excuse me, explain the logic of saying that uh, QS was a, is against the MA salary yeah. increase voted by themselves, and yet last Thursday you proposed a 20% increase at the committee level. You proposed an amendment. Can you explain that, the, the, logic, the, lo the logic of that? Because the, it looks kind of uh, fishy. The position of Quebec Solidaire has always been the same since 10 years and is still the same today. It's not normal and it's not okay for MNAs to vote themselves on their salaries. Um, when we are in the position, uh, in, in the opposition, when we are in the position of opposition, what we have to do, the only power we have is to make the decisions and the laws of the government uh the less worse you know we have to make them we have to try to make them less uh, problematic and that's why we put an amendment to say let's report the increase after 2026 while proposing that we're not saying that we took that suddenly we are in favor of having um a, a salary increase voted by the mnas themselves we're just saying let's make it less worse when we're putting forward uh, amendments that say let's decrease the hike of salary, we're, we're doing the same thing. We're just trying to make the bill less problematic as we can. It's the only power we have in the opposition. And how would um, the 20% have gone over in your poll if you'd used that 20% number that you I don't just know, mentioned? We would still be as against opposed it. to the, we yeah. would still be against it. So and the people know. would probably be still against the 20%. I don't part. know. I, I think the core problem here is not that is not the amount itself more than the process. You know, people are against the process. You know, and it's been two weeks we have that debate at the National Assembly. And since two weeks, uh, every, every day, every day people in the streets talk to me about that. And w what they tell me is not MNAs should be less paid or MNAs should live in misery <laughs> or MNAs should have not single not one single dollar more. What really gets people, what gets to people is the fact that MNAs will vote themselves on their own salary. People say I don't have that power. I don't have that privilege. Why should 125 elected officials have that privilege? I think that's the core of the problem and that's what people are talking to me in the streets honestly uh, every day since two weeks. Will you, will you filibuster this right into the 9th? Right into the 9th of June? Well, uh, honestly, we are alone in the Parliamentary Commission. We are alone. Uh, and there are only two articles. So, we're doing everything we can, but honestly, uh, we have a government that has a, a very strong majority and that says if we need to do, invoke closure, we will do it. So, we will do everything we can we will work as hard as we can, but we are alone at the commission. So it's limited what we can do. It's just the reality of having such a big majority in front of us. I observe that it raises a lot of questions and that our adversaries, the Liberals and the CAC, want so badly their $30,000 that they are ready to take that to, um, to critic, to uh, attack us and to raise questions and critics. And I mean, that's part of the job we have here. But at the end of the day, at the end of the day, the facts remain. The Parti libéral du Québec and the Coalition Avenir Québec want to vote themselves an increase of $30,000 at Québec Solidaire. We are against it because we are against the huge conflict of interest when we see MNAs voting on their own salaries. I, since the beginning of that debate, I never went into personal attacks or into judging the motivations of people. I think no one goes into politics to make money. No one. Not in any party. Uh, it would be a very, a not very good choice for a lot of people to go into politics to make money because no one becomes millionaire when you go into politics. So I, since the day one of that debate, I always refuse to speculate on the motivation of the people or to judge the fact that it's not my job to do this. We have a position based on principle since 10 years at Quebec Solidaire. We've been hammering that position since 10 years. MNAs should not vote their own salaries. It's not something we have invented. The Le Rue du Bar report has said it loud and clear, black on white. We need to stop that system. It's just bad for the confidence of the population towards the political class. And we don't need this. It's not a priority.